everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 231. And I'm going to have some fun today with the memory and more cards. So I have not come up with anything. I'm just going to, you know, write from right from out of my brain, right? I'm just going to open these up. Now, I've already opened them up because I did want to take a, a peek at them. But um, this is the Thoughtful Journey Memories and More Pack. And these are, you can actually get assorted Memories and More cards and envelopes, just in case you didn't know that. Um, and they are just basic white. And they have their envelopes. There's um, big ones and little ones. And they go great with these cards. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to have fun with today. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So welcome, welcome. All right, so um, I think that's all I wanted to blather about today. Um, you want to make sure, if you are expecting a mini catalog from me, here I'll, um, I'll bring that to your attention. You want to make sure that you have ordered at least $50 from me before tax and shipping since February 2024. Um, because then you'll be in my system for me to send you the, the new mini catalog that starts in September. If you have not, I'm just assuming you're not stamping anymore or you're stamping um, and you're using a different demonstrator, then they will send you the mini catalog. So if you aren't sure, holler at me. But I will be ordering my catalogs to have Stampin' Up! send them on the 30th. So uh, that is today. And so yeah, so holler at me right away. If you are watching this video later, um, then it's probably too late for me to have um, Stampin' Up! send them. But if you have ordered, if, you're, if you've done um, like a class or a paper pumpkin, you know, you'll be getting, you'll be getting, you know, your catalog from me. Okay, so I think that was all. Oh, I think so. Oh my gosh. There's always something that goes poop, but it went away. All right, so I'm going to um, stop blabbing and we will get started. So close your eyes just for a minute while I get the camera adjusted. So today I'm going to be using the Thoughtful Journey Memories and More card pack. And I have opened up a pack, I, I said it before, so I'll show you. And then these are the Assorted Memories and More cards and envelopes. And we haven't had these tons of, tons of years, I don't believe. Otherwise, I missed them if I did. Because usually I cut my own um, cards and all that stuff. But sometimes it's nice just to have these all ready to go. So that's what we're going to do today. So I have opened up the pack, and when you get the little uh, Memories and More card pack, you get like the bigger ones and the little ones, and there's just some chipboard. And then here is what the envelope pack looks like. So just like the um, cards, you have little envelopes, big envelopes, big cards, and little cards. And you can see that they fit right on here perfectly. So see how cool that is? And we're just going to play today. I have no idea how many cards I'm going to make. Because like I said, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. So I'm just kind of going to open up the packs and see where it takes us. Now I did ahead of time, I pulled out a couple greeting sets. Because as you can see, this one right here, you can stamp a little greeting there. So I grab Comforting Thoughts, Choose Happy, and Best Flam, Best, I can't even talk, Best Family Ever. These are photopolymer, and I like the photopolymer uh, when it's the greetings because then I can see to um, stamp it straight. So that's why I grabbed these. Now the comforting thoughts is really, it's just a beautiful set because there's always that time in, um, you know, 
somebody's life that it's not going well. So these are the kind of cards that you you kind of already want to have them done, right? I mean, um, nobody wants to make a sad card um, when they are sad. So what I like to do is I like to kind of have them all ready to go. And then you can always write a personal note on the inside, you know, for that person. So um, I'm going to do like, I think this one will fit. The hope this is a feeling better kind of day. Um, that's this one here. So I'm going to mount that one. Because that one kind of goes for anything, right? I mean, it can be, you know, you're just having a having a bad day. It doesn't have to be anything um, too serious. Let me get some scrap paper here. Oh. Hold on a minute. Because this is a new set. Oh my gosh, my scrap paper. It's all stuck. There we go. I should have had that ready. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right, because this isn't, I haven't used this one yet, so I just want to make sure it's good in inks. So a lot of times I'll use a Versamark, and it kind of um, gets the ink wanting to accept the um, the regular ink, but I'm just going to see what happens, because I had ink to my memento not that long, so it should be good. But see, it's not as good as I want it to be. So I'm going to get my Versamark pad. And I'm just going to ink it up, and then I'm just going to kind of go like this. And what that does is it takes any of the, because <laughs> sometimes there's like a little um, oil or whatever on the stamp when they make the photopolymer. So let's see if that's better. So see how that's a lot better? All right. So I'm going to see if that will fit in here. And see, I think that will fit in there perfectly. So I'm going to just stamp. I'm just using my memento. So it's going to stamp that right in there. And I'm going to do it on this one too. And this is just a great little stamp. Okay. Now, these ones go on these cards here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, stack these up. Where am I going to put them? Right here. And then I'll, because um, I'll do a few, and then I'll assemble later. So this is also a great idea. If you're going to go somewhere um, and, and stamp, right, or uh, then it's just a lot easier to have things ahead of time and then you just have to glue them later because I don't know about you but if I go anywhere to stamp with somebody I get gabbing I was a gabber in school I'm a gabber now and um, so I just like to have everything kind of prepared because if I have to go somewhere and then I have to design something my mind just is like what but if I have it already to go it's a lot easier all right, so let's see here. Now I have this happy birthday. So this happy birthday is gorgeous all by itself. So I'm just going to glue this on here. Now, that doesn't mean when I want to use this card that I don't add something. Because I think adding a little cupcake or something on here would look cute. I have, um, you know, little things sitting on my desk, you know. That might be cute. Let's see here. What else do I have? I have, I always have stuff on my desk. What about this one? So see, just, you can stick something small on there. All right, so I'm just going to have that aside. So that's ready to go. All right, let's see what this one is. Then we have another big one. And this one has a greet, or, so this one has like, you know kind of pictures on here so you could actually use this as a back of a card but today I'm doing quick cards right so I'm going to use the back side 
because it's all ready to go. But again, I can add, you know, I can add to it. I can also color. So let's see here. I'm going to add a little bit of color to some of my leaves here. So I'm just going to use just so that I have a little bit of color on some of my leaves. Not all of them. Just so that there's a little bit of color going on. Put a little bit of green. Because this one is pretty, this one would be pretty plain. But just adding a little bit of color is cute. Alright, so this could go on here as well. Okay. Let's see what else do we got here. So that, is that the same one? That's the same one. There is gorgeous, but look how fun this one is. So this one to me though is more um, for scrapbooking. So this I think I would save more because it says treasured memories. So I think I would skip this one in regards to making a card, but look how pretty this is. So this would be awesome on here. And then sometimes you have greetings, cause I'm trying to just, keep these simple so sometimes you have greetings on the back of these so see you've got like sending all my love on here so that could be one of the smaller cards okay but then we've got like thanks so very much that's a good smaller card one We could also die cut it out. And then we've got the sky as a limit. So I have quite a few of the smaller ones, huh? Ooh, look how cute that is with like um almost like purple snowflakes. So that's gonna go on there. But this would be so fun to have an animal on here. Alright. What else? Let's see what else we got. We got celebrate today. So we don't have as many with individual greetings as I thought. So let's see here. So here's another one we can stamp on. Life is an adventure. So that's kind of a plain one too. So I think I would keep that one for scrapbooking. All right, so let's get this one. And let's do some more stamping because I'm not for sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Because we're just playing. We are just playing. Because again, I'm going to use this for scrapbooking, that one. And what is this one? Thinking of you today. Ooh, I like that one. But look how cute these polka dots are. So I probably would use one for, you know, I'd use one like this way. But then this one... And I could glue it on here just so it's already glued and ready to go. But I think I would put something on top of this one. So I would glue that on there and then I would have this card all ready for something. But what is this one? This one says the best day ever, the best day ever. So that's cute too. All right, so let's find, and I think I already did happy birthday. All right, let's find something to stamp along here. So I'm going to go over to my best family ever. And I've used a lot of these already. Because this stamp set's been around a little while. And not about you're in my thoughts. Is that too long? Let's see here. You're in my thoughts. And I think it's too long for this one, right? Yep. So it's going to go at an angle on this one. 
So let's see here. That would be cute in there. So you're in my thoughts. And that could be your anything too, right? That could be birthday. That could be get well. That could be just thinking of you. So you're in my thoughts. So that looks cute, doesn't it? All right. So I'm going to put that with a little card. I think I have more little cards than the big cards. And I think I like that, so I'm going to do, do another one. So you're in my thoughts. I always need cards. I always need thank you cards. Sometimes the neighbors will come over and they're like, oh, we're looking for, you know, a, a birthday card or a sympathy card. All right, so let's go back to this one that I had before. I love that paper. Now, we also have these. Ha, ha, ha. So, remember I showed you these a while ago, labels and layers, and I've just put them in the, um, to these are the little um, boxes that are, um, you can buy these em empty, you know, they come four to a pack, but these are the little ephemera packs. And these have sayings and greetings. And so I'm going to see if I can't find a little saying to go on this pretty paper here. Because sometimes the Memories and Wars, they'll have some, like, you can die cut out. And I could, you know, I could totally, like, die cut that out. Oh, look how cute that is. Ooh, I like that. All right. Let's see. Or like even like this, right? You could you could cut that and stick it on here. But I'm just going to see what I have in here. Let's see. What do I have in here? Because this has lots of sayings in it. This has lots and lots of sayings. So I think I want to find something easy. Good luck. Okay. But I want to kind of stick with kind of these colors or white. Right? Because if it's too dark, it's going to just blend into here. But that today is kind of cool because it's nice and white. Because then it kind of reminds me of um, of this one, right? Because this has already got that white look to it. So this kind of reminds me of that. So we have something today. Good luck today. What other greetings do we have here? Oh, look at how fun this is. Consider yourself hugged today. That would work. Oh, so would good. Oh, so would this one. This one might be even better to see. I don't really see any orange in here. I need to really split all these up. I don't really see orange in here, but I do see some greens. So look how cute good vibes sent your way today. So that's kind of cool. So let's just get all of this. Jeff just went to get the mail, so the dog's barking. All right. So hopefully he won't come in here making noises. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. So I kind of I kind of like good vibes sent your way today and then let's see what we have and see so these ephemera pack oh look at this this might be fun so this also has a cactus so that could kind of go on there 
right? Because this kind of looks like deserty. Right, I'm gonna keep that out. What else do we have in here? Ice cream cone. Kind of like that desert. Oh, and then here's this other one. I think I used this cactus maybe one time before. I guess I have a thing for cactuses since I did that card yesterday. All right. Now I also have this. Now this might show up a little more because it has that white around it. You know, where this one blends in more. But at the same time, I'm not a big fan of the white around that. So I think I want to stick with this, even though it blends in more. All right, but this would be fun on the inside. Okay, so let's see here. I just really need to go through all of these and figure out. Okay, and then I don't think I want any of these. I think I just want to keep it fairly simple. I don't think I have any cactuses in there. That looks good. So I'm just going to, but what I want to do is, now this is just, doesn't mean I'm going to leave it as this, as this is. All right. But what I want to do is I want to take my cactus and I want to darken this a little bit. Let me push that up so you can see. So I want to darken this edge a little bit. So I'm going to take my let's see let's do my granny apple and see if that how that looks can you see that nope i'm not gonna do granny apple i'm gonna do smoky slate i think let's see what smoky looks like yes so i'm gonna do smoky instead so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna outline and what this does is it makes the cactus, the, the paper that the cactus is on, it kind of soaks up a little bit of the blends on the edge. And that's just going to make it pop off the page a little bit since my card has so much going on. Now you could, if you want, you could put a piece of vellum. We don't have vellum in the, in the catalog anymore. Um, I have vellum in my stash. I have vellum on my favorite things. We have some patterned vellum that is coming, which is super cool. All right, so I'm just kind of going around and it's just darkening those edges up a little bit. And you can do that also to get that white border off. All right, so let's see how that looks. So see now it's got like these this darker kind of edge to it. So it sticks out a little bit more. Personally, I think it still blends in a little bit too much for my liking. So I think I'm not going to do that, that card. That's my prerogative. All right, let's see here. What about this? Ooh, see, that's cool. Let's change it to this here. Because this has got that blue sky. So that looks cool, doesn't it? This is going to be too big. But, so the today is too big, I'll put it back in its thing. But I still like this good vibes. So I'm gonna just cut this. And we're just gonna stack it. Let me get a Kleenex, hold on. I still have these crazy allergies here, all right. 
So let's get to these cards. All right. So let's just finish with this one so we can get to the other ones. All right. So we want a little card. I still have my fun little, my fun little cactus guy on my desk. All right. So we have our card bases. Uh-oh, dirty fingers. Dirty fingers. All right, I have that um, ink pad. All right. So just give it a crease. So I have a little smudge there, so nobody will be the wiser. Because I'm going to put this on the top. So I'm going to glue that on there. I need my seal. I love this too. Isn't that fun? This is a really fun pack if you're just trying to do some quick quick cards because I don't believe we have a DSP that looks like this. So now you have a really fun pattern and color of a little piece of gin. DSP. All right, so I'm going to put this on here like that. And then I want to take my cactus, but I want my cactus to um, stick out, right? Because even though now I've got that nice blue background, I still want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm just going to cut my dimensional skinny. And we're just going to put that clear down there. So now it's going to have a little stability to it. We'll do the same thing here. And So now I'm going to put this cactus here. So this cactus is just out in the desert. But look how fun it looks on there, right? It looks super cute. And then let's get our good vibes sent your way. So see how cute that is? Just a very, very simple. Let me get my um, glue dots here. But you could add some bling if you wanted. I mean, you know, you could totally add some bling if you want. But I'm going to put it like this so that that cactus goes over top of it. And I like having these little tiny ones. I'm going to go right over top of it like that. Because these are fun just to, um, you know, kind of keep in the car or in your purse if you just need a, a quick little um, card for somebody. But that looks super cute. If we wanted, we could put, you know, a little bling on it if we want, but it looks fun just as it is. All right, so there's one. Okay, I'm just trying to figure where I can stack them here. All right, so let's go back to this one here. Now, when I score them, I kind of force them to go in the right spot because these are heavy cardstock so um, they're already scored but I just kind of um, make sure that when I'm folding them I'm folding them you know straight so this one's simple and easy But you could add some bling to it if you wanted to. But it's super cute just the way it is. Okay. Let's see here. So that's just a double the one I just did. All right. Let's do this one. Now we have a big one. So again, I'm folding it at the score, but I'm bringing my ends together. All right, and 
then, so thinking of you today. So let's stick that on there. And let's see if I have anything on my desk. What did I have before? I had, because I always have little things I've colored or um, I have cut things out and then I don't use it. So I always have little things on my desk. So this would be cute here, right? So thinking of you today, and I already like decorated the little bag, but that would look so super, super cute together. So I'm going to put that there because this might be a good card. And then you could say happy birthday on the inside. And maybe you're going to go shopping with somebody. But look how cute that is on there. That just made it specialer. I don't know if that's a real word. Specialer. All right. And then we have our big envelopes for the big cards. Okay. Let's see here. We have to celebrate today. And I'm going to look in my ephemera pack again. So I think the ephemera and these um, memories and more, I think they might go hand in hand because you can just find stuff and have fun with it. So there we have celebrate today. Um, I have another little package there. Here. But I want something small, right? Because I don't want to be in the way of my writing. So let's see here. Do we have anything small? There's that cactus. We have a butterfly. But it does have to be kind of smallish. Oh, look at there's a cute little cupcake. Didn't I say I wanted a cupcake? All right. So let's see. Nope, too big. But I'm going to keep that one out too. Oh, here's a little butterfly. So see, look how cute. It might be cute on there. Now he's better because he's smaller. I kind of like him on top of that little dot so that it almost looks like he's the dot. But that's kind of cute, right? But I'm going to pop him. And I didn't put any color on him because this looks like sky back there, right? So that's kind of cute. Just not super fancy. But just because I don't want to take your whole day. All right, let's see what else I have here. So I had no idea I was going to be using the ephemera stuff. All right. What else do we have over here? We have, oh, okay. So we have the, the sky is the limit. And that's a good one because... It has a lot of space down here. So let's see what we have in our ephemera pack. And we are getting more ephemera packs. In fact, for the fall social, you're going to get parts of an ephemera pack, and we're going to make some really fun stuff with them. So make sure if you haven't um, subscribed, or not subscribed, I can't, I can't, design and talk at the same time. If you haven't registered for my fall social yet, make sure you do so. All right, so let's see here. The sky is the limit. But what do we have in our stash that would work? Do we have an airplane? 
Because that would be cool, right? I know we have an airplane stamp set. But do we have an airplane in here? We have the bird. I don't want to do a butterfly again. So maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, look. What about that? Oh, <gasps> that's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's so perfect. I love that. I keep... Someday I need to sit with the TV on and pop all those out. All right. This is perfect. Don't you think? Yes. That makes so much sense. The sky is the limit. And I'm leaving that white border around it because I have a white border around this. So then it just kind of makes sense that there's a white border around my balloon as well. So it just kind of all looks visually right. So I do like that there. All right. Let me get my little envelope. What else do we have over here in my, my little stash? So sending all my love, that's another little one. Let's see. Because I'm trying not to get stamp sets out, other than those ones I have for the greetings, right? Because we're just trying to limit what we're using today. So we have sending all my love. And that is so cute by itself. Um, there was some hearts. But what about a little flower? Do you think there'll be a cute little flower in here? It can't be too big, again, because I don't want to um, cover my greeting. So... I might not have anything in this pack. Let's see. Maybe not this pack. And then what one is this? This is labels and layers. But I don't think there's any, any greeting necessarily in this one. These are just really, really cute. Like, look how fun these are. Like, look at that little scallop edge on there. So that's super cute. I'm just going to pull that out. I might want to stamp on some of these. Ooh, that's cute, too. All right. So let's see here. So I didn't find a small enough flower. I might just end up leaving this one plain. Oh, look at this. I wonder where this will work. What about this little banner? What do you think about that? That's kind of cute if I pop it up. It's kind of got the same greens and stuff. But I do have a little, there's a several hearts. So I might just do some hearts. Because there's a bad heart and this heart. So they kind of go with the, um, they kind of go with the colors, right? So I think I'm just going to do, do a couple little hearts. And I'm going to use my um, glue dots. because it has that green, that same little green. And this one has that same little yellow that's in there. And then it goes really well with, with sending all my love, I think. Right? I think that one's cute. All right. Let's put that one with this envelope. All right. Now we have thanks 
so very much. Okay. So what can we put with thanks so very much? So this one gives us a little bit more space. Right? This one has a little bit more space. I don't want to do a cake because to me a cake is um, is a birthday and this is thanks. So, oh, but we have that cactus again. Where is that other cactus? Hang on a minute. Um, here it is. Oh, that might be too big. Might be. That kind of is cute on there, though. But it is a little bit too big. But what we could do, let's see if I trim this. Because it's just paper, right? Doesn't mean you can't trim it. It doesn't mean I can't trim it. We can do anything we want, right? Just like I changed that ghost into a cactus yesterday. We can trim this so it takes up less space. But I'm still leaving that white border because we had the white border from this. I'm just cutting this kind of quickly. Let's see if that gives us a little bit more room. So see, now we can see our greeting. It totally lets us see our greeting. So I like that. And I don't think there was anything else deserty to put on there. I mean, there's the other cactus, but I don't want to put the other cactus. I think I just like that as it is. Yeah. There's a there's a sun. I don't want it to be too crazy. Yeah. I don't think I want that up there. Alright. So let's put that on. And I'm going to put this on with dimensional so it pops. And then do I put it on this side? Or this side? Hmm? Decisions, decisions. I think I like it better over here on the right side. All right, so we'll put some dimensionals. So this will be perfect to send to somebody since I live in Arizona. And we have, you should see how big, um, we have a cactus like this in our front yard that just showed up one day. I think a bird dropped a seed or however they grow, I don't know. And it was little. And so I was calling him Arizona Groot because he was just little. And he had these little arms as they grow. Now he's humongous. And last year, I think he had three flowers on him. See the little flowers? But this year, I think Jeff counted 70, 64 or 74. I can't remember. Flowers. So now we're waiting because once a flower, and it only lasts a day, that flower opens up. And then it's gone. Like, I mean, it's still there, but I mean, you only give one day out of it as it opens. And then they just kind of drop and fall off. But these things, that's the actual fruit. And once this turns red, then you can use it. So Jeff's going to make jam. And it's called prickly pear jam or whatever. But anyway, so there you go. There you learned a little bit about the cactus. But I think that looks pretty cute, right? Because it does look like a sky. And I love um, that little cactus. I got to use it after all. All right, let's see here. Did I do this happy birthday yet? I don't think I did this happy birthday. But look how cute this paper is back here. I really like all the, you know, the kind of grungy, like, um, the kind of grungy look of some of the paper. All right, so I'm going to get this so it's where it needs to be in my handy dandy bone folder all right so now this is going to go on here now this is definitely a birthday so 
So let's see if any of these things I kept out. So we have cupcake. We have ice cream cone. But see, that almost goes too much in the way. But the cupcake might work. And I also had cake cake, right? What about balloons? Balloons are definitely, well, the balloons might work over here. All right, but I thought I had cake. I'm on a diet, so I don't want to be thinking about cake, but there is a cake here. And here. And then, what did I do with those little, um, were they in this packet? Oh, here they are. They might be a different color, though. So let's just keep those out, just in case. Okay. So let's see here. So we have happy birthday. So there's some cake. But it kind of just gets lost, doesn't it? just kind of gets lost in all of this color. See, that looks cute. Even though it's not birthday, but that black outline makes that look good. So if I turn it like this, I'm going to trim a little bit of the white off, not all of it. Just a little bit. So it doesn't take up as much space. And I want to make it look like let's see. Where's my little marker? What would this oh that's not it. There it is. Alright. So I want it to make it look like the butterfly is writing that because wouldn't that be fun if the little butterfly was writing our greeting so I'm gonna pop them on there kind of like that I like him so he's kind of half off well I mean he's a little bit off the card but he's still within the card so that um, I can get it in the envelope because you don't want it to go outside of the envelope so it gets caught so let's just kind of, I'll bring him up here a little bit. And then I'm going to take my, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, because this is white. So I want to get my gel pen instead. What? I'm sorry about my arm here. All right. So I'm going to use a gel pen instead. Because I was going to use the black, but I want it to make it look like he wrote that. And this is white, so I want to make sure that this is white too. So I'm just going to take my gel pen and I'm just going to put these little marks so it looks like the little butterfly wrote the little happy birthday. What do you think? Does that look crazy? Does that make sense? I think it looks kind of cute. Alright. So I want that gel pen to dry. And we even have, I could even go like this. I'm going to go like this. looks like he came from here and he wrote bird, 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 and then he flew cool all right so this is going to take a little bit to dry that gel pen so i'm just going to set that aside away from the envelope all right what else do we have i think we're almost to the end of these cards that i pulled out 
All right, so we have hoping this is a feel better kind of day. And so this one doesn't need, really need much just because, you know, it, it's got this. Um, I want to make sure that's dry. It is. Um, let me get an envelope. Big envelope. Big envelopes are. All right, let's see here. But I might put. See, I stamped with the black. There's a lot of butterflies in there. But there's this black dove or whatever. And I just think I like I like that little dove on there. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just trim. Well, maybe I won't. But I am going to take a little bit of pool party, light pool party, and it's gonna be hard for you to see. But this has got some, you know, pool party in there. And I just want to add a little bit of color to my bird so he's not just fully white. So I just put a little bit of color on him. I don't know if you're going to be able to... Yeah, it doesn't really show that much, but... Um, just so that he had a little bit of color on him. All right. Then I want to get his... Dairy air. There we go. So then it looks like the little bird is kind of flying around this little stalk here. So I think that looks looks really nice. All right. What else did I have over here? What else? So I have this, but I'm not really, really done with that. So I'm going to just kind of leave that one. This is a repeat. This is a repeat. This one, I'm going to end up just gluing eventually, but I want to pull out some stuff, you know, to go with it more than just leaving it by itself. I think all the rest of them are repeats. Here's the envelope for this. So let me show you the cards I did. Let me close this really quickly. So I didn't use, I just used a couple of the stamp sets I had pulled out. But I need to figure out where all these little goodies go. So I put them in the right holder. Because I have them all like labeled. Alright, so let's show these cute little cards. So this ended up being Memories and More Packs, The Thoughtful Journey, and then I grabbed the Ephemery, as well as the Memories and More cards and envelopes, okay? And then I pulled the Ephemera packs out, and I pull, got some things from there. So I think they go hand in hand, those things, especially if you just want to have fun and put things together and not... Um, you know, do a lot of stamping, because um, I did stamp on here, but you could, you could probably find something to put on here from the ephemera pack, if you just wanted to, like, you know, say you went, you're going to the cabin, and you just want to work on some things, but you don't want to have to, you know, pack your whole um, studio when you go, that would be so easy to pack, you know, just take a couple um, packs of the memory and more cards, take your ephemeras, and just have at it. So there's that one, and then we did this one, and I love that I was able to use that cactus. This one is sending all my love. So these were fun, and now I have these little cards all ready to go. I always need thank you cards. All right, just celebrate today birthday cards this could be anything right this could be graduation wedding maybe you got a raise 
Maybe you got a new job. You're in my thoughts. Here's that one. I think this is the first one I did, right? Good vibes sent, sent your way. So this is the other cactus. Then we have the thinking of you today. And I believe that's the last one. The thinking of you today. And this just uses the attention shoppers, the little bag from the attention shoppers. And because I have been playing with that, because I had that class in the mail. So I've been um, working on getting all that stuff out and um, the PDF and stuff. So I had this little guy all ready to go. This is just a piece of designer series paper. You just stamp on it cut it out, put it on there, and then you've decorated your um, little bag. So it makes it so, so cute. All right, so let me say, oh, ugly legs. Let me say, see you later, alligator. And so, yeah, so hopefully you will um, look at these um, memory more, memories and more card packs and envelopes, as well as the... Um, card card packs because they're super cute and yeah I, I don't know how many cards I didn't count them but I did quite a few cards there super fun all right so I'm gonna stop blabbing I will see you Friday for my dyes shorts that will be at three o'clock Arizona time same time same channel if you have any questions at all make sure you holler at me we'll be in a brand new month yeah, we'll be in August come Friday. Oh, so don't forget about the um, double reward, not double reward, the bonus bonus days coupons. So if you're ordering 50 before tax and shipping, uh, Stampin' Up! will send you a coupon to spend in August. So don't forget about that. That ends July the 31st. Again, don't forget about um, if you're expecting a mini catalog from me, make sure you have ordered at least 50 before tax and shipping since February 2024. Um, if you have any questions at all, make sure you holler at me. Otherwise, I'll see you Friday. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye for now.